A very good afternoon to everybody. Uh, we would just uh, discuss the MCQs related to the first chapter today, the last lesson. And uh, since we've completed with the syllabus, so we would just follow this practice only. Every week we would discuss one or the other topic for a revision. So today it's the time for the last lesson. I'm going to read out uh, the paragraph and you would answer the questions. Okay, multiple choice questions based on an extract. Okay, it says poor man. It was in honor of the last lesson that he had put on his fine Sunday clothes and now I understood why the old man, old men of the village were sitting there in the back of the room. It was because they were sorry too that they had not gone to school more. It was their way of thanking a master for his 40 years of faithful service and of showing their respect for the country that was theirs no more. Why does the narrator refer to M. Hamel as poor man? I'm going to read out the options. You will tell me uh, which is the correct one. He emphasizes, he empathizes with M. Hamel as he had to leave the village. He believes that M. Hamel's fine Sunday clothes clearly reflected that he was not rich. He feels sorry for M. Hamel as it was his last French lesson. He thinks that M. Hamel's patriotism and sense of duty resulted in his poverty. Yes. Which is the correct option? Option C. Option C is the correct one. Online students, are you able to hear and are you able to see? Okay. Option C is the correct one. He feels sorry for M. Hamel as it was his last French lesson. Okay. Then second one is, which of the following idioms might describe the villagers act of attending the last lesson most accurately? Too good to miss, too little, too late, too many cooks spoil the broth, too cool for school. So this idiom best describes the villagers act of attending the last lesson most accurately. Okay, because they had not attended it in time when they had time and now they had to what the teacher is going and uh, it is going to be their last French lesson okay choose the option that might raise a question about M. Hamel's faithful service when France came late M. Hamel told him that he was about to begin class without him France mentioned how cranky M. Hamel was and his great ruler rapping on the table. M. Hamel often sent students to water his flowers and gave a holiday when he wanted to go fishing. M. Hamel permitted villagers put their children to work on a farm or at the mills for some extra money. Which is online students would answer now. You have to choose the option that might raise a question about M. Hamel's faithful service. Yes. Which option? Or online students, speak up. Yes. yes, it is option C. Because he often sent them to water his flowers and gave a holiday when he wanted to go fishing. And he admitted this, that he was also at fault. Okay? Because of this reason only. Next is, choose the option that most appropriately fills in the blank for the following description of the given extract. The villagers and the children sat in class forging with their old master a dash together. In that moment, which kind of together togetherness are we talking about here? Yes? The option says, uh, I will read out that uh, you know uh, paragraph first. The villagers and their children sat in class forging with their old master a dash togetherness. In that moment, the classroom stood dash. It was France itself and the last French lesson, a desperate hope to dash to the remnants of what they had known and taken for granted, their own dash. Which option? Online students, which option then I'll See whether that's correct or not. We'll discuss. If we put the first option, if we put the first option, then I'll read out 
how the paragraph would go like. It says the villagers and the children sat in class forging with their old master a graceful togetherness. In that moment, the classroom stood still. It was France itself and the last French people, a desperate hope to hang on to the remnants of what they had known and take them for granted. Their own country. Agar hum option A use karte hai, to ye aise pada jayega. Thik hai? If we put on option B, it, it says the villagers and the children at the class forging with their old master a bygone togetherness. In that moment, the classroom stood up. It was France itself and the last French lesson, a desperate hope to keep on to the remnants of what they had known and taken for granted, their own education. It's not option B. Okay, so if you put on option C, the villagers and the children sat in class forging with their old master, a beautiful together. In that moment, the classroom stood mesmerized. It was France itself and the last French lesson, a desperate hope to carry on to the remnants of <coughs> what they had known and taken for granted, their own unity. No, this is not the correct option. Okay, last option, the villagers and the children sat in class, forging with their old master a forgotten togetherness. In that moment, the classroom stood transformed. It was France itself and the last French lesson, a desperate hope to hold on to the remnants of what they had known and taken for granted, their own identity. Now tell me, option A, which one will come? Option A. Option A or option B. Online students, is option A the most appropriate one? What about option D? Sarabjul says option D. So you have two choices now, 50-50. Option A or option D? Online students, would you go in favor of option A or would you go in favor of option D? Next is... Uh, read out. Next. M. Hamel, M. Hamel went on to talk to the French, to talk of the French language saying that it was the most beautiful language in the world, the clearest, the most logical, that we must guard it among us and never forget it. Because when a people are enslaved, as long as they hold fast to the language, it is as if they had the key to their prison. Then he opened the grammar book and read us our lesson. I was amazed to see how well I understood it. All he said seems so easy, so easy. Okay, so I'm going to read out the questions. Following can be attributed to M. Hamel's declaration about the French language. Whatever he declared about the French language, what can be attributed? Uh, subject expertise, nostalgic, pride, factual accuracy, patriotic, Magnification. Read this paragraph again and tell me which out of these options can be attributed to his declaration about the French language. When he said that it was the most beautiful language in the world, the clearest, the most logical, that we must guard it among us and never forget it. When he said, when he spoke so magnificently about his language, Is it nostalgic pride? No, it is not nostalgic pride. Yes, option, speak up loudly, online students. Option D, patriotic magnification. Yes. Yes. Okay, so option D. Next is, find the quotes Read the quotes given below and choose the option that might describe M. Hamel's viewpoint. Okay? Those who know nothing of foreign languages know nothing of their own. Okay? Language is the road map. M. Hamel ka viewpoint kaun sa match karta hai Okay? Language is the road map of a culture. 
it tells you where its people come from and where they are going. Next is a poor man is like a foreigner in his own country. And next is the greatest propaganda in the world is our mother tongue. That is what we learn as children and which we learn unconsciously. That shapes our perceptions for life. Which is the one that best describes M. Hamel's viewpoint? Option B. Can you type it? Students, online students, can you type it? Because your B and D is so confusing. Like B for Bombay or D for Delhi. Aise bol. Batao, kaun sa bol B for Bombay. Uh, uh, who is this? Tushita? Tushita says it's B. B. That is option 2. So I'm going to read out option 2 again. And offline students, you wake up and you tell me whether this is the option which best describes M. Hemmel's viewpoint. And there's only one student who's sleeping. So time and again, I'm telling you to wake up. Okay? It says language is the road map of a culture. It tells you where its people come from and where they are going. Does this option describe M. Hemmel's viewpoint? Or as somebody said, no, it's option D. The greatest propaganda in the world is our mother tongue. Do you think mother tongue is a propaganda? Do you feel that mother, mother online students, do you think mother tongue is a propaganda? Is it some kind of propaganda? Yes? Speak up apart from Kushita, I need answers from others also. Bolo. Even if you agree with Kushita, you have to speak up. Online students, kaha so gayo? Yes, it's option B. Okay. Next is, I was amazed to see how well I understood it. Select the option that does not explain. Does not. Question ko dhyan se sunna hai So, you see, this is the sample. So, you're not going to get so easy questions. If you're wrong, then you're, to you're totally wrong, then you get a zero. There's no chance of half a mark in MCQs. Okay? Aapko bilkul zero hai milta hai. Aada aada kuch hai milta. Okay? So, select the option that does not explain why France found the grammar lesson easy. France was paying careful attention in class this time. M. Hemmel was being extremely patient and calm in his teaching. France was inspired and had found a new meaning and purpose to learning. France had realized that French was the clearest and most logical language. You need to tell me which option does not explain why France found the grammar lesson easy. Next is France was able to understand the grammar lesson easily because he was receptive, appreciative, introspective, competitive. Option? Batao ha simran. Receptive, appreciative, introspective or competitive. I was able to understand the grammar lesson that day so easily. Because he was? He was receptive. Okay, he was receptive. And uh, earlier on, during the early lessons, he had never paid any attention. So that day he was receptive. He was gaining everything because? He was paying full attention. So he was receptive. Okay. Got it? Next. France saw a huge crowd assembled in front of the bulletin board but did not stop. How would you evaluate his reaction? Okay. France was too little to care about the news of the lost battles. Nobody in France's family was in the army, so it did not matter. Bad news had become very normal. So he was about, so he went about his task. It was too crowded for France to find out what news was up on the board. Yes. Option C. Yes, because bad news had become very normal. Okay. So, because he had even mentioned it, that uh, for the last two years, bad news had been coming from that bulletin board. Okay, next. There was usually great bustle and noise when school began, but it was all very quiet that day. Which of the following describes Francis' emotions most accurately? 
shock and awe disappointment and anxiety confusion and distress curiosity and uncertainty yes a keh rahe ho b keh rahe ho online students bhi kuch bolenge c d mein se theek hai fir hum decide karte hain yes online students which describes trans's emotions most accurately would it be disappointment and anxiety or confusion and distress i saw him look so tall which of the following best captures m hamel on the last day of school cranky miserable dedicated resigned or patient dignified emotional courageous or calm nostalgic disappointed patriotic or proud reproachful persistent heroic c or b e or c without students online yes it was he was very calm and he was nostalgic also he was patriotic and he was disappointed too so it would be c 